A very good morning to everybody. We are here at the flood plains. I would like to introduce you to three of my guys coming down from the mountain, Mount Gorongoza, where we grow the coffee. Uh, we are here to familiarize these guys with some of the high profile game down here. So today we are going to focus on um, looking for elephants, I mean the high profile game. And I would like you to enjoy the experience together with them. So you won't see much of me as you will just uh, be enjoying it together with these guys. And uh, these guys are going to be working as the trails guides up on Mount Gorongosa. They are the guys that are going to be showing you the famous uh, green-headed Oreo and all the local stuff, the endemic stuff up the mountain. Okay, I hope you enjoy the experience together with these guys and we'll see you next week. To the bank. Elephants are some of the well-respected animals uh, in this community. What we're looking at here is quite a very huge breeding head with a matriarch as the leader of the whole family. Sounds like my grandmother, huh? She's the one that has got the experience of the area and she decides what activities, where do we find succulent food and what activities will happen during the day and actually throughout the whole year. What are you looking at the females and all the little ones are here? They're very relaxed, chilled. They carry on feeding for many hours a day with very short breaks in between. Elephants sometimes um, hang out on their own, especially the bulls. Bulls hang out on their own and we call them satellite males. Sometimes they'll be following a few days behind the breeding head or the females. And this is, this gentleman decided is gonna enjoy the succulent water lilies at this pan. And after some time, you know, you'll catch up with the breeding head. He's together with his mat, so this is a bachelor head that only decides, oh yeah, we need to join the females when it's time to mate. Other than that, they just want to enjoy their life on their own. Doesn't sound good, eh? We, we can't do that. Here, they decided to move off because they felt um, we've uh, encroached into their comfort zone as they were not expecting any vehicle. To see them running away, they're just running away because they've had a vehicle in the vicinity and they were not expecting anything. And our water bugs are following suit because they're like, hey, if this elephant has seen something, we better run too. They don't really need to wait and see what is happening. Lions. These particular females we're looking at, um, there's a male that is courting one of the females that you see in front over there. There's been a lot of activities in the park and we do hope that by the time you are able to access the park, there's going to be a lot to offer you. Uh, the big male has been mating for the last few days and is still carrying on with one of the females. And um, we've got a few different couples. Early morning we found these guys, they are mating. And then we come to this sun moon couple we're looking at right now. This one is a tricky one. Uh, this is special for ladies. Ladies, listen to this one. This particular female has been in the lay. He has got um, little ones. Two, three days ago he has been mating. I mean, he has been lactating, I'm sorry. And today is like day three and she's out in the honeymoon already traveling all over to Mauritius. This one is a fake one. This is a pseudo estrus which is meant to drive these males away from the vicinity of the cubs. So the cubs are still hiding and she mates and walk a long way into an opposite direction to, to try and get the males out of reach in order to save the cubs. Otherwise, the big males will infanticide the cubs and put the female onto estrus. That's nature, eh? There's not much we could do about it. All right, it's okay. Don't worry about watching these guys mating. It's animals, okay? Enjoy it. <laughs> 